Welcome to Race Face TV and this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We have a lot of racing to cover, so let's get started. We're going to get started out west at Madera Speedway where we find both Adam Lemke and Jesse Love. Let's start off with Adam Lemke, who was competing in the RPM Mortgage Pro Late Model Series in his number 98 off-axis paint JRI Shocks Toyota. Adam qualified sixth, but quickly worked his way through the field and was battling for the lead at the 50 lap mark, setting in second place at the end of the first segment. When the checkered flag dropped, Adam came home in sixth place. That's six top tens in a row for the Hollister California driver. Up next for Adam, USAC Western Dirt Midgets at Kern County Raceway Park on September the 7th. As we said, Jesse Love was also at Madera Speedway, but this young 13-year-old was pulling double duty in both the 5150 Junior Late Models and making his debut in the RPM Mortgage Pro Late Model Series. Let's start off with the Junior Late Models, where Jesse started on the pole and remained there at the halfway break. Jesse ended up finishing second, his fifth top third finish of the year, including three wins and retakes the lead in the championship points. Now it's time for him to make his debut in the Pro Late Model Series, where he started seventh and was running fifth at the midway point and ended up bringing home a podium finish in third place. Was Jesse excited about this finish? Take a look at this onboard clip from inside the car when he crossed the finish line. speak louder than words. Jesse became the youngest driver ever to stand on the podium in the RPM Mortgage Pro Series. Now you would think that was a pretty successful weekend of racing, but earlier in the week, Jesse competed in the Toyota Racing Development Combine at Irwindale Speedway for three days of on-track and off-track training. Jesse won one of the qualifying races and then raced to the victory lane in the championship race. Let's now talk a little ARCA racing where Sheldon Creed had to return to Berlin Raceway. The series was there on July 21st, but strong storms in the area prohibited the start of that race, and it was rescheduled for August the 25th. However, the field was set from practice times from that July weekend. Sheldon started second, and took the lead on lap 18 and led till lap 80. The car started to get tight and the cautions flew frequently and he ended up finishing in sixth place. Sheldon holds a 220 point lead in the championship heading into the last four races of the season. This weekend, the ARCA cars will be back on the dirt at the DeCoin State Fairgrounds one mile oval in DeCoin, Illinois. That race will be televised live on MAV-TV Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We now go to the Midwest where we find three of our race face drivers, Anthony Alfredo, Ryan Vargas, and Sam Mayer, all competing in the NASCAR k and Pro Series East versus West Showdown at Gateway Motorsports Park in Madison, Illinois, just outside of St. Louis, Missouri. Team showed up on Thursday for an open day of testing that turned out to be very valuable because on Friday, practice was limited and qualifying was canceled due to rain. Starting positions were set by Friday's practice speeds. The race only saw three caution flags for a total of 14 laps. So outside of the two scheduled breaks, the teams had few opportunities to make adjustments. Ryan Vargas started second and finished 13th. Anthony Alfredo started ninth and finished ninth, and Sam Mayer started eighth and finished in 11th. Up next for the NASCAR Can in Pro Series East drivers is a return to New Hampshire Speedway on September the 22nd. Now, Sam Mayer jumped on a plane from St. Louis and headed back east to run the Cars Tour Series at Wake County Speedway on Saturday 
in his number nine junior motorsports late model, where he started 10th and battled hard to take the lead with 49 laps to go, then held off some of the top late model drivers in the country to take his first win in the Cars Tour Series. Let's watch the last restart. It's an all junior motorsports front row. Here comes Lee Pulliam. Sam Mayer slams the door in his face. Lane Riggs now up to third as Barry's been shoveled back to fourth. White flag in the air. We will race back to the checker. Sam Mayer pulls away from Pulliam by a car length and a half. He drives into turn three straight, and Sam Mayer is going to win his first Cars Response Energy Tour race here at the Wake County Speedway, outwitting and outlasting Lee Pulliam. Now that's some serious driving from the young 15-year-old. Matter of fact, that's impressive no matter how old you are. Up next for Sam, NASCAR Wheelin' All-American Series from Hickory Motor Speedway on September 1st. Let's now get a quick update on our race face next drivers. Bryce Bizanson was at Deming Speedway in his mini sprint where he finished second in his heat. In the A-Main, Bryce was running third with four laps to go when a car spun in front of him and he had to stop to avoid contact. The rules state if you stop, you have to start at the tail end of the field, restarting him in 20th. In just four laps, he raced his way back to a ninth place finish. This young driver is getting better every time he takes the track. He will be back at Dimming Speedway on September the 7th. Next driver, Joe Valento, was at Thunder Hill Raceway in Minimomi, Wisconsin in his number 03 mini sprints where he won his first heat race and finished third in the second heat. Joe started second in the A main and stayed there and with only four laps to go, had a serious vibration in the right front and had to pull off track, resulting in a DNF. Up next for Joe, Princeton Speedway on Friday the 31st and then Brainerd Speedway on the 1st and 2nd of September. Next driver, Joey East, was at Madera Speedway for his debut in the 5150 Energy Drink Junior Late Model Series. Joey is driving the second car for Nate Clower Motorsports and a teammate with Jesse Love. Joey qualified fourth and crossed the finish line in fifth place. Very impressive for his first race. Up next for Joey, USAC Western Dirt Midgets at Kern County Raceway Park on September the 7th. I want to give a quick shout out to next driver, Justice Sokol. He clinched the 2018 USAC Quarter Midget National Pavement Championship and the Heavy World Formula Mod Class. Great job and congratulations. Well, that's it for this week's driver updates. Make sure to catch up on any shows that you missed at raceface.tv on demand. Remember that we offer Dale Jr. Download from Dirty Mo Media and the Stock Car Show from Race Chaser Media. Please make sure to like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash raceface TV. I want to thank all of our fans for helping us reach 12,000 likes. You guys are awesome. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities, and we'll see you back here next week with more driver updates from your favorite race face drivers.